Welcome into your ESPN.com headline. I'm Dario Melendez. Well, Nick superstar Carmelo Anthony has been dealing with some knee soreness of late, and he's been advised, according to Melo himself, by some friends saying uh, maybe he should just shut it down. And with more on this, we welcome in Ian Begley of ESPNNewYork.com. And uh, Ian, do we know who exactly is advising Carmelo to shut it down? Oh, we're not exactly sure, but I can tell you that the Knicks have told Carmelo that he is, his knee injury isn't going to get any better, and it's probably not going to get any worse if he plays on it. So just a matter of how the knee feels on a daily basis and what type of pain Carmelo is willing to p play through at this point. Now, he, he, he's been a gamer so far. He has played in a couple games since he started to feel this soreness, but he has also sat out a couple games. So it's just a matter of basically how he feels when he wakes up in the morning. What's the likelihood he does shut it down like he's being advised to? Well, listen, the Knicks are 5-22 and 22 going into Thursday's game. I think if it's clear that they are way out of the playoff picture and they have no shot of making a postseason run, they'll probably shut it down. You know, they entered play Thursday, got six games out of the eighth, eighth spot in the East. So, you know, the, the dream, I guess, is not dead, even though it seems highly unlikely that they will make a playoff run. But I think if it, if the time comes where, you know, they're double-digit games out of eighth, they'll strongly consider shutting it down. And you kind of just touched on the organization uh, itself. They're 5-22 and 22 and heading into Thursday's game against the Bulls. No J.R. Smith, no Amari Stoudemire, now no Carmelo Anthony. Are the Knicks concerned about this team? Well, I think the, the worry is, the, does this team fully buy into what Derek Fisher and Phil Jackson are trying to implement? Because that's the triangle offense and that's certain defensive concepts on the other end of the floor. But the challenge is you have nine players who are on the last year of their deal. So are those guys willing to buy into a system that – does it necessarily make it easier for them to produce big individual stats and then get a big contract in the free agent market? I think that's the big question facing this team right now. So the concern really isn't long-term. The concern is in the short term. Are these guys willing to buy in? A lot of questions facing the Knicks as they move forward. That's our Ian Begley of ESPNNewYork.com answering our questions about the Knicks and Carmelo Anthony. Remember, your latest headlines keep right here on ESPN.com. I'm Dario Melendez.